Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Asper Witch. Uh, we continue our mini series of uh, Respublica. Uh, looking, looking at Respublica. Uh, this uh, is the Hansa. We are about to uh, wrap up the war against uh, Brunswick with allies. Uh, we'll try to try to get a few provinces from. Uh, well, not provinces, but we'll try to vassalize uh, maybe Lüneburg and uh, maybe even Brandenburg. I'm not sure. They probably they're probably too big, but we can try. Uh, so yeah, let's split those up uh, amongst those two. What would it take to vassalize? We could vassalize them, huh? Would you look at that? Uh, we could. Even vassalize. Oh, now uh, Anhalt will become vassal of Munster and uh, Hansa. Why would? No, oh, Anhalt will become a vassal of Munster. Yeah, that's uh, that's one way to do it. Well, for now we are going to. Hmm, isn't? Means Cologne. Brandenburg is a is an elector, so is Cologne. So if we could vassalize two two electors, uh, oh, that would be fun. <laughs> I don't even I don't think a republic can become. Uh, what is it called? Yeah, not eligible to be the emperor. Uh, so it would be kind of a waste, I guess, but. Uh, yeah, would be fun. So Brunswick accepted peace with the Oldenburg. They're peacing out one after the other. Well, that gives us the option to get these two provinces. Did Munster peace out as well? No, Munster and Magdeburg still in it. In it to win it. Uh, Lüneburg wants to get out. Well, we do have. 100% so why don't we try to why what do we want we are going to pick Hanover from here so having Lüneburg owning the Lüneburg province would be advantageous since we would get uh, a nice uh, border here uh, on the other hand they're one province minor, and annexing them would really hurt. Uh, the emperor would be on our backs, and uh, yeah, it will be it will be nasty. Uh, so let's just uh, let's vassalize them and see what they have done about the if they have changed anything about uh, the integration of vassals as. Uh, uh, as a republic. Uh, so let's do that. We have a new vassal. There we go. Fine. Uh, how about you, by the way? Are you ready to accept? No, you're not. Minus 51. We could probably get access uh, and go take care of the rest. Let's detach those sieges. Meet up in... Whoa, what's happening? There. Ah, uh, okay. Our diplo power is taking a lot of hits. Well, no big deal. Uh, let's go eat up Cologne. Who's still in this war? Brandenburg and Cologne and Brunswick. So, we are getting Cologne, vassalizing them. We are getting Brandenburg as our vassal. And we should probably try to give uh, give Anhalt to Munster, uh, keep them as our ally, and feed them, and use them to help us uh, get a nice piece of the uh, of the HRE in our sphere of influence. Uh, the term is up for Siegfried Gevert. It would cost us ten Republican tradition to keep him in power. 
How old is this guy? Uh, let's see, he is 35 years old, so keeping him in power would not be a bad idea, seeing as we're at 100 tradition, and he's going to be alive for a long time. We should probably stop using him as uh, as a leader, so he doesn't die in combat. Uh, so let's keep him. He has nine total power, so that's good. Now he has twelve. <laughs> Even better. We are getting Cologne. No, go away. Okay, trade crisis again. Well, same reasoning this time. Uh, it's not that many ducats, so it's not worth it. Uh, we could raise our war taxes, but uh, yeah, not worth it right now, I think. Uh, okay, so how's our factions? Oh, so this isn't. Um, this isn't actually a boost to to uh, army tradition. It's the other way around. Army tradition is uh, changing uh, our aristocrat influence by 0 0.02 every month, and war exhaustion is reducing it. I'm guessing, since it says influence changed by 0 0.14. Uh, our navy tradition is increasing the trader's influence and what changes this? It just it's just increasing. <laughs> so let's uh well we don't have to do anything about it now. They're still in power and will be for quite some time. Uh and perhaps after this war is over it will be enough of a swing that uh the traders are in power. Would be good. Can't hurt. Oh, by the way, the truce timer. They changed the way truce timers worked as well. Uh, it, uh, it was in the patch. Uh, it uh, scales with how much war score the piece is worth. So a higher war score, the more you take, the longer you the truce. So it's up to 15 years, I think. Uh, where's Hansa. We have a truce until 1454. Well, that's uh, just over five years then, since there's, uh, it's more than five years from now, and we, we've had them as a vessel for a while, so it was probably around six years. Uh, it wasn't that uh, costly peace deal to vassalize them. Uh, Venice declared war on Cyprus. I don't really care. Uh, Oldenburg is warring against East Frisia. We can get tech. There we go. Now, idea groups. There are quite a few changes here as well. Uh, I've seen... Uh, I think the religious ID group is... Uh, I'm not sure about this. The Inquisition, if it's uh, the same. I can't really rec I don't I don't really rec I recognize that uh, uh that icon but I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, the big changes uh civil service uh, increasing or decreasing admin tech cost in the admin ideas admin ID group. Uh I don't know what they changed. I can't recall what was there before. Uh there's this all, all new humanist ideas. ID group uh, has uh, gives religious unity. Uh, natural revolt risk minus two. Tolerance of heretics plus three. Uh, it decreases the nationalism in a province by ten years. Uh, so that's really good in my opinion. Uh, it's usually like what twenty, twenty-five years of uh, constant rebels. Uh, decreasing that by 10 years is uh, is a lot. Uh, it uh, decreases the 
threshold for getting the culture accepted by 50%, uh, which is great as well. Uh, it gives better relations over time and tolerant, tolerance of heathens. Uh, that's uh, other religious groups, not your own. Uh, so that's great. Uh, and also, when you get all of it, minus 10% ID cost. So it could actually be a very good starter uh, ID group. Since uh, getting it maxed out would uh, save you a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of power in the in the long run with the 10% decreased idea cost. That's uh, how much would that be? Uh, let's see, how many? Three, six. So it, there's seven ideas per group, and there's two, three, four, seven. So that's 49 uh, ideas after the first group times 40, so 490, that's 1600 plus uh, 360, so almost 2000 power, 1960 power uh, uh, if you unlock all the ID groups uh, that you've saved with humanist ideas, if you pick it first. So that's, uh, that's quite nice, you can do a lot with 2000 monarch power. Uh, now, other new things is they changed the, they moved naval ideas to, to military and uh, added a new one called maritime ideas with the uh, light ship uh, and blockade ideas, yeah. Uh, so that um, they, sp they more or less, I think, they split the trade part and the, the combat part of the naval. Uh, this should give bonuses to galleys and heavy ships, and this is for light ships. So the trade ships are in diplomatic and the warships are in military ideas, so yeah, it makes sense. Uh, and they added influence ideas. This is... Uh, good for vassals. It increases your income from vassals by 25%. Uh, it reduces the time to fabricate claims by 33%. It, um, isn't there another one that does that? Or was that one in admin? Yeah, that was probably the one in admin that they removed to add uh, civil service, I think. Claim fabrication. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we have a diplomatic annexation cost, minus 25%. So one-fourth uh, out of 15, what's that? Uh, I guess it would be 12 then? Uh, something, 11 or 12 uh, diplo points per month for base tax. That's okay. Uh, aggressive expansion impact, minus 10%. That's great. Five Diplo reputation always helps. Uh, Envoy travel time, nah. Minor bonus, 10% uh, Imperial authority as well. Not really useful outside outside of uh, being the emperor. And uh, subject force limits contribution. So I guess guess you get uh, larger force limits from your from your vassals and uh, and uh, personal unions. So that's uh, this one is probably best for uh, for the if you're going for emperor, uh, having lots of vassals and uh, also bonus to imperial imperial authority. Uh, and then there's the like I said the naval ideas. Uh, ship durability plus 10 percent so that's n that's a new modifier I think I've never seen that before making your ships uh, more durable I wonder if that's uh, in combat or if it's uh, attrition as well uh, I have no idea 
I guess someone should test that. <laughs> uh, they've also added, they changed quantity to, instead of uh, reducing costs, uh, having three different ideas to reduce cost, it's just one that does regiment cost minus 10%. Uh, I think that's the one. And they added uh, building power cost minus 20%, so making the power cost of buildings cheaper. Now this one, in a large empire, can make a, l a huge difference. It's two power per building, and that's uh, that can be a lot if you build a lot of uh, if you have a lot of provinces. Uh, other changes uh, is uh, yeah, uh, in the end of diplomatic ideas, they've added uh, minus ten percent diplomatic cost. So uh, now there's uh, minus ten percent admin tech cost in admin ideas, minus ten percent diplo tech cost in Diplo ideas, and there's the minus 10% military in the aristocratic ideas, which I don't have. Uh, so there's a there's an idea for well, reducing tech costs in all of the three groups. But uh, for now, we are going to... I don't know if we pick humanized idea. This won't be a long campaign, so uh, the the idea, cheaper idea cost won't really be worth it uh, this time. But we are going to have a lot of vassals, so maybe we should uh, try the influence ideas. Uh, it will be lesser aggressive expansion. Uh, well, you know what, let's just uh, go with old trusted trade ideas, I think. On the other, on the other hand, that's kind of boring. So let's go with influence ideas. Try the new one. Uh, so there we go. Income from vessels plus twenty-five percent. Uh, so that means uh, we get thirty-five percent. We should be able to sometime maybe change our government to get even more. We have rebels in Brunswick. Well, I think we'll be able to win this war before... Yeah, <laughs> that was no problem. Uh, well... Let's see now. Speed up to speed 5. Just to end this war, there we go. Uh, let's vassalize. Cologne. We're getting a lot of... A E, but uh, yeah, who cares? It's just for fun. Uh, let's get back here. So, how much do we need to vassalize? Sixty-five percent. Well, that's soon. So we lost Mecklenburg as our uh, rival. Brunswick accepted peace with their former enemies, Munster. So they peaced out Munster. Well, I was gonna give you mm, an alt. Sex to be you. Suit yourself. Let's uh, try to speed up these sieges. The end of the War of the Roses. And we have won the Siege of Brandenburg. Now, is that enough to vassalize them? Yeah, it is. I could probably get Anhalt as well. And have this chain of vassals. Uh, we have won the Siege of Potsdam. Well, let's stack up on Anhalt. Get that that uh, vassalized as well. As well. And eventually we could just uh, change our uh, national focus to diplomatic power to to keep uh, to offset the the penalty for having a lot of vassals. Uh, Austria is uh, still the emperor. We get we can get the Adler von Lübeck. It is a huge huge ship. We get morale of navies plus twenty and cheaper heavy ships 
as well as uh, faster ship building. It will cost us a lot of ducats, so we are not going to pick this one. I have no real use for a heavy ship, so... The guilds has gained a dominant position in our country. This will mean a change of policies. Uh, so build costs is down and uh, manpower is down as well. But uh, the goods produced is up. So let's see that. So now this one is increasing. And this one is decreasing because of war exhaustion. Uh, so now we have the guilds in power. Well, let's uh, let's keep them there. What? did we lose, by the way? Morale and maintenance. Well, that's no big deal. Let's just... Uh, we, we've already won this war, so we don't really need the morale anymore. How is uh, the war coming along? Uh, okay, 7%. Let's wrap this war up and uh, see if we can't wrap this uh, episode up with that. We are winning the siege. Come on now, there we go. Now, sue for peace. See if we can't get both of them as a vessel. This is funny. Let's do that. There we go. Two more vassals. And now we have Brunswick get Hanover from them and uh, make them our vessel. Why not? There we go. We have broken our alliance with Monster. Uh, Ferrara has entered into a military collision. They're far away. Why would they do that? Uh, and Utrecht has entered into the military, uh, military, military coalition against us. Now, let's see. That's quite a sizable chunk of uh, the HRE being under our direct control. I like that. Uh, so we have Hanover. Let's uh, take care of those rebels. Okay, so we have England, Savoy, and Austria. Uh, <laughs> this is getting out of hand. We have Friesland and we have Tuscany. So our uh, coalition has uh, these guys. I guess no one wants, uh, and there's Genoa as well. No one wants me to have vassals. Such a such a silly game. Well, it could be that I have uh, how many vassals? Uh, my country. I've got five vassals, three allies. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's dissolve some alliances because uh, yeah, they're eating up my diplo power. Uh, Magdeburg is uh, where's Magdeburg? I've seen it. Where? There it is. Yeah. I don't need them anymore. Okay, and we've got Oldenburg. Let's uh, say goodbye to them as well. Now, the Emperor demands that we return the province of Hanover to the Holy Roman Empire. So they want me to give it back to Brunswick. We could actually do that, since uh, Brunswick is our uh, vassal. So let's uh, let's accept that. It's still in our <laughs> in our uh, control, so no problem. Uh, that will probably make the emperor not as mad with us. Uh, made no difference. At least we didn't get another penalty. Uh, they want us to incorporate Cologne. We we'll get twelve regiments. We've got. 11 at the moment, so let's get that one. Uh, make one quick mercenary. Uh, yeah, the coalition is growing. There we go. And now let's uh, 
get rid of those mercenaries. There we go. And uh, yeah, incorporate Brunswick. We could. Or we could. Less power, manpower, supply go up. Yeah, why not? I'm not going to be able to incorporate anything of the any any of these vassals anytime soon, seeing as they're newly acquired. I've had to I had to wait at least ten years, uh, and I'm not going to war with Denmark. And my manpower is at half. So that would be four years, I guess, to get 40% more. So let's uh, let's do this first. Consolidate those, and then. Oh no, I can't. So what would be? That would be 75%. Would be like 12, I guess. So let's make. Let's make some more then. It's an army for our nation. Uh, medieval infantry, I guess. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. Well, uh, we'll end this episode with that and see if we can't um, do something even more fun in the next episode. Uh, so for now, thank you for watching and uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. So long!